Hey guys, if you're new here and you like what I'm putting out, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you never miss an upload. So, Zenkaija episode 7. This episode was really freaking crazy. I mean, I say that about most of the episodes, but this episode, the crazy got pushed up to like a hundred or something. I don't know. So, this episode, it had a lot going on for it. We saw cameos, I say cameos with quotation marks, from past rangers. We saw Mex making appearance. We saw Stacy with his brand new transformation, which looks really cool. And all of that I'll talk about in this video, because so much went through, but not only that, we also got some good character development for Kaito moving forward in the future. And I appreciate that a lot. So let's talk about the brand new General Stacy. Now Stacy was first introduced last week. I'm glad we had a setup episode for the character. He didn't appear out of nowhere. And he was the new obstacle that the Rangers would have to face in this episode. He was set up last week and I do appreciate that. So Stacy has some very interesting powers. And that is Sentai Gear Summoning, where he uses the purple and black gears to summon past Sentai teams or Robos to fight the Zenkaijas. And in this one, we got a fair bit of them. We got the Go Ranger showing up. We got the uh, Gao Ranger showing up. We had Maji Ranger showing up. We had Bokenja showing up. Plus a bunch of Mechas as well. But I really do like his powers, and if his powers are going to be used moving forward throughout the season, however long this character is around. I'm excited to see what other cameos we'll get, well, the suited cameos, with past ranchers, because that opens the door to so many possibilities with them having the same abilities that the Zenkaijus can use. So I get the feeling later down the line, there's going to be a past Sentai team that the Zenkaijus can't defeat. They're going to have an obstacle with these fakers and I know that they were able to defeat them in this episode but I get the feeling there's going to be one past team that they are definitely going to struggle with. I don't know who that past team is going to be but it'll be interesting to find out later down the line. Now Stacy's transformation which is called Stace Caesar I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly who knows but I really do dig his design like his helmet and his scarf is based on Battle Fever J while his spandex outfit kind of looks like Geki Ranger which I really do like that like the purple and the black really stand out for this character because it shows the colors show how menacing he can be and the colors using black and purple they really pop on the outfit so I do dig that a lot like it uses the right shade of purple and the right shade of black and the silver lining on the helmet that makes this character stand out like the color the color design is small and basic but it shows really well with this character and I really do dig his transformation design because he looks more of a uh, Toji Tendo when he's transformed. He looks like more of the villain side when he's transformed opposed to his human form. So I do dig that outfit quite a fair bit. So I'm glad that this episode wasn't just fighting, 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 cool cameos and the Mecha Robo show up at the end. Gowan had some development this episode. And the development he got in this episode was being confused about who he's fighting because he had no idea if Stacy was a Kikanoid or was he human and with an evil human character showing up it's showing Kaito and Gowan that not all humans are good out there you're gonna have to fight some bad humans and you have to find a way to deal with it because Gowan loves all humans he even saved Stacy in the battle when Druin was going for like a finishing blow trying to stop him although I got the feeling that Stacy could have handled his own against Druin even if Druin was swinging that big old sword around so Gowan got some development in this episode which was really neato I did dig that quite a fair bit that Gowan is learning something that not all humans are good and you're probably gonna have to fight some bad humans later down the line not only that Kaido learned that lesson as well with who he's facing whether they be good or bad so he has to deal with that as well so like I said earlier I like the rivalry that Kaido and Stacy is going to have because we're going to be having two human characters and their ideals and their goals clashing later down the line 
Now, I believe this was the most gears we saw being used in a single episode when it comes to the Zenkaijus using their powers, because we had Kaku Ranger, Gal Ranger, Girl Ranger, and Flashman, and I really liked how they were used. They were actually used to help the Zenkaijus with the plot, so we had the Kaku Ranger abilities being used to get out of the battle when things weren't looking good for the Rangers. It looked like things were going to end really bad for them, fighting the past Sentai teams. The Gal Ranger gear, that was probably my favorite highlight of the episode because when they used that gear, they did all the Gal Ranger poses, but then they started fighting like the Gal Rangers, and in those suits was really impressive with the moves they were doing. So that was really awesome to see with those big, somewhat big, clunky uh, uh, Zenkaiju suits that they use, and they're able to move around really smoothly doing some really cool fight scenes. The Go Ranger gear was also really cool because it was like a, they used these silly abilities they used in class classic sentai one of them being in a razor like ball that they kick which i hope if they use the jacko ranger keys um the jacko keys we can see like the crazy stuff they used in jacko because there's this one clip in jacko where they use a cannon and out of the cannon comes out an elephant that crushes the bad guys or blows up the bad guys it's so crazy it's so weird check it out it's probably online somewhere and then the Flashman gears, the Flashman gears were used to create the giant bazooka because I really do like how the uh, Zenkaiju Rangers, uh, the mechs or the Kikanoids, when they were trying to figure out how to deal with the past mechs, which was also really cool because you got to see some cool scenes here with the updated suits from past Ranger mechs in Zenkaiju, which was also really cool. One of them being the original Megazord from Mighty Morphin, or Daijuren, or whatever you want to call it, um, that was really cool as well, and they did something really cool, it's like blink and you miss it, with the Megazord from Mighty Morphin, and for a split second, it turns into tank mode, and starts blasting our heroes as they were giants, so, that was really awesome as well, but yeah, they make a giant cannon with the Flashman abilities, but they also use their uh, gears turning upside down, which I thought was going to go horribly wrong, but out, but it just made bigger bazookas. And then they used the Flashman gear to make an even bigger, bigger bazooka by, combi by combining them. That was really cool as well. Alright, before I talk about the closing scene where the army of mechs is summoned, there's two really cool things going on when the mechs are summoned. One of them, when Stacy uses his little uh, Gearlinger, when he summons the mechs, it makes the Sentai noise that you see before the start of every episode, the little sparkle sound. That, and when the Robos or the mechs are being summoned, they come out of their packaging, from the toy packaging in Japan. And that is like a really nice attention to detail they do in the episode. I really love that. That was freaking awesome what they do in the episode, where when they're summoned, they come out of their toy packaging. Well, you just see the toy packaging being summoned and they just get pushed out of it, which is also really cool. I really do like that because you see the DX boxes when the toys were released in Japan. That is a nice attention to detail and that is really freaking awesome. I do love that. And it seems like things are going to get even more crazier next week because this week's cliffhanger was the army of mechs being summoned and the Zenkaijus being pushed into a corner. Next week's episode is going to be even more crazier because the Gold Ranger will be showing up. Now, I'll give my thoughts on that next week when the Gold Ranger shows up and we see his debut because there's been a lot of discussion if it's too early for the Gold Ranger to show up, but we'll see what the character does if he's going to stick around or not. I guess we'll have to wait and find out, but either way, this was a really good episode. Had a lot of fun watching it. Very fan servicey, very fun and very fan servicey, and I'm excited for next week's episode of Zenkaiju. So, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and turn on all notifications so you never miss an upload. A special thanks to all the members such as Swagger4. If you want to get your name shouted at the end of a video like Swagger4 over here, become a Zord tier member or higher for special perks on the channel. With that said, I'm going to wrap this video up now. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day on night. Bye!